the space shuttle days when we used to see those sparks fly below the main engines right before they ignited? Do you know what those are for? Because a lot of people don't. We should talk about that. Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon, and welcome to Two Minute Tuesday, which is a new series I'm starting here where we cover a topic briefly for about two minutes, or as close as I can get to it, and by the end, maybe you learned something that you didn't know. So with that, let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get started with today's Two Minute Tuesday. It's the most exciting part of a rocket launch. The clock starts counting down, the sparklers turn on, the engines ignite, then lift off. And those sparklers are part of a system called the Radial Outward Firing Igniters, or ROFIs, which a lot of people just call sparklers. Now, a lot of people think that these sparklers were there to ignite the main engines of the space shuttle, but they're wrong. The ROFIs did serve the purpose to ignite something, just not the main engine. These are part of a hydrogen burn-off system to ignite any extra hydrogen that happens to gather below the main engines. Remember, the space shuttle is a hydrogen-fueled rocket, and as part of the ignition sequence, some hydrogen would come spilling out of the main engines. Now, most of that was burned off, but in case any of it wasn't, the ROFIs were there to burn the hydrogen before they could collect and cause a big boom. The main engines themselves were actually ignited using an augmented spark igniter system, which was in the pre-burner of the main engine. And that ignition of the main engines was not all at once. Each engine would ignite independently of one another about 120 milliseconds apart. Now, ROFIs or sparklers or hydrogen burn-off systems are still in use today. ROFI ignition. You can look at a rocket like the Delta IV Heavy, which is trying to launch NROL-44 right now, and that uses ROFI sparklers because it's also a hydrogen-fueled rocket. Something like SpaceX's Falcon 9, though, does not use ROFI sparklers because it's not a hydrogen-fueled rocket. It's actually fueled by RP-1 rocket-grade kerosene. And similarly, the side boosters of the space shuttle didn't require these sparklers because those are solid rocket boosters and not hydrogen-fueled. But the upcoming SLS rocket from NASA will again use ROFIs because it is a hydrogen-fueled rocket, and it also just happens to be using an upgraded version of the RS-25 engine, which is exactly what the main engines were on the space shuttle. So the next time somebody tries to tell you that the shower of sparks ignited the space shuttle engines, you can say, no, no, and then tell them exactly what they were used for. If that's today's Two Minute Tuesday. Consider clicking on the like button and subscribe if you like this kind of format, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. So next time somebody talks about the big shower of sparks that ignited the space shuttle engines, you can say, no, no. Those didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs>